Hey everybody, I hope everybody's having a good week this week. So this week what's popping and dropping is a golf pop-up card. This just says, Dad, you're always above par. And we open it up. And we have a golf cart, a golf ball that says, I love you. And we have a golf bag with golf clubs in it. And then on the back of the license plate, it says number one dad. So when you open it up, this is what it's going to look like. And then, of course, on the back, we have a place where we can write a message. So why don't we go ahead and head over to Design Space, and I'm going to show you how we can make this card. I'll see you there. Okay guys, now that we're here in Design Space, we got a lot to do, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's go to Shapes. Let's get an oval. We're going to make that oval 3.752 by 2.544. Then we're going to place the X at 18.073 and the Y at 3.699. And then we're going to go to Shapes again. We're going to get a circle. We're going to make it 2.528 by 2.444. We're going to place the X at 18.653 and the Y at 4.063. Then we're going to grab it all and go down to the bottom and click on Slice. Then we have this piece right here. We are going to adjust that piece to 1.908 by 0 0.431. We're going to rotate it to 46.1. We're going to place the X at 11.994 and the Y at 1.487. Then we're going to go get a square. We're going to make it 0 0.625 by 1.75. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to place the X at 12. 0.711 and the Y at 3.016. Then grab it all and then go down to the bottom and click on Slice. Then we have this piece here. We're going to go ahead and adjust it to 0 0.874 by 1.53. Then we can just move this aside until we need it. And let's go to Shapes. We're going to get a square. Then we're going to right click, duplicate that square. The first square we're going to make 0 0.804 by 0 0.804. We're going to rotate it to 297.93 degrees. We're going to place the X at 13.847 and the Y at 1.84. Then that other one we're going to make 4.312 by 0 0.707. We're going to rotate at 73.25 degrees. We're going to place the X at 13.623 and the Y at 2.704. Then we're going to grab them both and go down to the bottom and click on Slice. And then we have this piece here and we need to just put that aside. Go to Shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make it 6.472 by 0 0.917. We're going to place the X at 2.871 and the Y at 1. Then we can duplicate that square. We're going to adjust it to 6.736 by 0 0.569. We're going to place the X at 3.25 and the Y at 7.681. Then we can take that square and duplicate it. We're going to make it 0 0.659 by 5.893. We're going to rotate it 8.39 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.203 and the Y at 1.845. Then we can right click, duplicate. We're going to rotate it 344.52 degrees. We're going to place the X at 8.521 and the Y at 1.603. Then we're going to go to Shapes, we're going to get a circle, we're going to make it 2.537 by 2.537. We're going to place the X at 1.458 and the Y at 6.722. Then we can right click, duplicate. We're going to place the X at 9.472 and then the Y at 6.708. Now let's go to shapes. We're going to get a circle. We're going to make that circle 0 0.273 by 0 0.255. We're going to place the X at 2.847 and the Y at 1.69.
then we can right click duplicate that circle we're going to place that one at 9.097 and then the Y at 1.704. Then we can go to shapes. We can get a circle. We can make it 0 0.829 by 0 0.774. We're going to place the X at 3.056 and then the Y at 1.384. Then we're going to duplicate that circle. We're going to place the X at 3.681 and the Y at 1.37. The next one we're going to place at 4.319 and the Y at 1.384. Then duplicate it again. We're going to place the X at 5.014 and then the Y at 1.384. Then what I want you to do is click those first four circles we did. Then we can right click duplicate then we're going to group them together we're going to place the X at 5.708 and the Y at 1.384 then we're going to go to it again and grab just two of them right click duplicate then go up to group now that they're grouped, we're going to place the X at 7.708 and the Y at 1.384. Then let's go to shapes. We're going to get an oval. We're going to make it 1.969 by 0 0.642. We're going to rotate it 271.02. We're going to place the X at 1.019 and the Y at 5.805. Then we can duplicate that. We're going to adjust it to 1.9. We're going to make the height 0 0.789. We're going to rotate it 313.95. We're going to place the X at 6.855 and the Y at 3.912. Then we're going to get a square. We're going to make it 1.997 by 0 0.327. We're going to place the X at 2.899 and the Y at 5.045. Then we're going to go to shapes. We're going to get this guy right here. We're going to make it 0 0.817 by 1.234. We're going to rotate it 161.47. We're going to place the X at 3.741 and then the Y at 3.479. We can right click duplicate that pennant. We're going to rotate it back to zero. We are going to make it 0 0.989 by 1.493. We're going to rotate it 268.65 degrees. We're going to place the X at 4.531 and then the Y at 4.495. Then we're going to go to shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make it 3.027 by 0 0.429. We're going to rotate it 70.35 degrees. We're going to place the X at 5.622 and then the Y at 5.12. Then we're going to get another square. We're going to make it 0 0.556 by 2.33. We're going to rotate it 315.12 degrees. We're going to place the X at 7.686 and the Y at 4.621. Then we're going to go get a circle. We're going to make it 0 0.583 by 0 0.611. We're going to place the X at 8718 and the Y at 5.935. Then we're going to get another square. We're going to make it 0.763 by 3.194. We're going to rotate it 17.47 degrees. We're going to place the X at 8.48 and the Y at 4.92. Then we're going to get another square. We're going to make it 0 0.625 by 1.75. We'll rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to place the X at 10.002 and the Y at 6.178. Get a square. 
we're going to make it 1.958 by 2.319. We're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 4.778. Then we're going to go to shapes. We're going to get another square. We're going to make it 0 0.373 by 1.335. We're going to rotate it 283.82 degrees. We're going to place the X at 9.661 and the Y at 5.018. Then let's get that piece right here that we made. It should be 1.919 by 4.301. We're going to place the X at 17.859 and the Y at 1.527. Then our last piece is this piece we cut and made. It should be 0 0.874 by 1.5. We're going to place the X at 10.952 and the Y at 5.301. Then what we're going to do is grab it all and then go down to the bottom and click on Weld. And then we're going to highlight it and go down to Contour. And we're going to click on all of these holes that need to be filled. This large piece we don't want to click on that one but don't forget this little bitty piece up here either so it should look like so you should have your x and your y on one then i want you to go to shapes and we're going to get a square we're going to make it 0 0.069 by 1.458 we're going to place the x at 3.583 and then the y at 3.19 and that's going to put it over that little piece that was sticking out of the chair. And then let's just grab both pieces and go down to the bottom and click on Slice. Now we have a nice smooth chair back there. Last thing we need to do for this piece is change the height and the width. The height should be 3.611 and it should change it to 2.709. Now we're going to go to shapes, we're going to get a square, we're going to make it 8.056 by 2.125. We're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 1. Then we're going to go to shapes again and we're going to get a circle. We're going to make it 2.278 by 2.333. We're going to place the X at 1.042 and the Y at 2.014. Then we're going to grab them both and then go down to the bottom and click on slice. We'll take that half moon or half circle and we're going to make it 1.25 by 2.5. We're going to rotate it 88.74 degrees. We're going to place the X at 10.889 and the Y at 1.077. Then we're going to take that circle and we're going to make it 2.278 by 2.333. We're going to place the X at 11.028 and the Y at 2.105. Then we can grab them both and then go down to the bottom and click on Slice. Then we have this piece right here. We're going to save this piece here. Long piece, we're going to place the X at 1.056 and the Y at 1.014. It still should be 8.056 by 2.125. And then that shape we just made we're going to go up and it should be 2.499 by 1.277. We're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 1. Then we're going to grab them both and click on Slice. On Slice, there's this little edge over here. We're going to click on it and we're going to get rid of that. Then we're going to go up here and click on our peach colored piece and then go over to contour and then we're going to get rid of this triangle right here and now what we're going to do is grab this all and go down to the bottom and click on weld and we should have a piece that looks like this make sure our piece here is it should be 8.056 by 2.125 the X should be on 1.056 and the Y on 1 
then we're going to go to shapes we're going to get a circle and then we're going to go to shapes again and get a half circle this piece here that we saved we're going to place it the x at 2.639 and the y at 5.208 then we're going to go get a circle and we are going to make it a 2 by 2 circle we're going to place the x at 2.972 and the y at 5.181 then we're going to grab them both and then go down to the bottom and click on slice and then we have this little sliver right here that we want to keep so let's highlight that go down to contour get rid of this big piece then we have the sliver left and we're going to right click duplicate this little piece because we're going to use it again here in a second piece that we just made it should be on 1.056 and the y at 1 and then that sliver we're going to keep it the same size we're going to rotate it to 227.66 we're going to place the x at 1 and the y at 2.149 then we're going to grab them both and then go down to the bottom and click on slice And we're going to get rid of all of those pieces and then we're going to go highlight it and go down to contour and we're going to get rid of that little tip right there this little piece we saved right here and we're going to rotate it 258.2 degrees we're going to place the x at 1 and the y at 1.554 this piece here it should be the x should be at 1.045 and the y at then we're just going to grab them both and then go down to the bottom and click on weld now we have this nice smooth edge here our piece we're going to take it we're going to make sure it's on the x and y are on one and then we're going to go get this oval shape we're going to make it 2.542 by 1.833 we're going to place the x at 7.203 and the y at 2.032 then we're going to grab them both go down to the bottom and click on slice and we're going to get rid of everything in this corner right here we're going to keep one of these for my pink piece here the x is on 1 and the y is on 1.077 and then this red piece we save we're going to adjust it to 1.747 by 1.005 we're going to rotate it 13.6 degrees we're going to place the x at 7.337 and then the y at 1. Go down to the bottom and click on slice. Now we're just going to get rid of these edges around it we don't need. Like this red piece up here. I clicked on this red piece. Now we're going to go to contour and we're just going to get rid of these two triangles here. And then on this piece. we can click off of it we don't want this triangle piece here so then for the pink piece click on it then we're going to go to contour and we're going to get rid of these two little pieces right here now what we're going to do is grab it all and go down to the bottom and click on weld have the pink piece the x is on one and then the y should be on 1.984 then we're going to go to shapes we're going to get a square we're going to make it 1.667 by 0 0.361 we're going to place the x at 5.375 and the y at 3.401 then we're going to go to shapes again we're going to get another square we're going to make it 0 0.111 by 2.889 we're going to rotate it 340.24 degrees we're going to place the X at 4.432 and the Y at 1.022. We can right click, duplicate. We're going to rotate this 18.6 degrees. We're going to place the X at 6.848 and the Y at 1. Then I want you to click on this stick right here. Hold your shift key and then click on the other three black pieces that we have here and then go down the bottom and click on weld then I want you to grab both of these pieces and we're going to go click on slice 
highlight this piece. Let's go to contour and we're going to get rid of this piece here. Now our pink pinks we're going to place on 1 and the Y at 4.222. Then we're going to go to shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make it 2.482 by 0 0.156. We're going to place the X at 2.251 and the Y at 4.163. Then we're going to go to shapes again and we're going to get another square. We're going to make it 3.84 by 0 0.253. We're going to rotate it to 77.78 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.191 and the Y at 1.031. Then we can right click, duplicate, and we're going to rotate this one 253.92 degrees. We're going to place the X at 6.878 and then the Y at 1.239. Then we can go get another square. We're going to make it 4.739 by 0 0.282. We're going to place the X at 2.523 and the Y at 1. Then we can go to shapes. We can get a circle. We're going to make it 0 0.561 by 0 0.449. We're going to place the X at 2.551 and the Y at 1.126. Then we can duplicate that circle. We're going to place the X at 3.056 and the Y at 1.141. Then we're going to duplicate it again. We're going to place the X at 3.59 and the Y at 1.141. Then we're going to duplicate it again. We're going to place the X at 4.123 and the Y at 1.141. Then I want you to click on the first circle, click on your shift key, and we're going to highlight those four circles we just made. Then we're going to right click, duplicate. Then we're going to go up to the top at layers and click on group. Then we are going to place that group at the X at 4.628 and the Y at 1.141. Then we're going to go to the first circle again. We're going to duplicate it. We're going to place the X at 6.691 and then the Y at 1.141. Then let's go to shapes. We're going to get an oval. We're going to make it 1.305 by 0 0.323. We're going to rotate it 316.68 degrees. We're going to place the X at 5.559 and the Y at 3.204. Then we can go to shapes and get a square. We're going to make it 2.324 by 0 0.322. We're going to rotate it 44.4 degrees. We're going to place the X at 5.977 and then the Y at 3.526. Then we can go to shapes and we can get an oval. We're going to make it 0 0.623 by 0 0.478. We can rotate it 28.04 degrees. We're going to place the X at 7.073 and the Y at 4.607. Then let's go to shapes and get a square. We're going to make it 0 0.241 by 0 0.27. We're going to place the X at 7.64 and the Y at 4.135. Then we're going to go get another square. We're going to make it 0 0.085 by 0 0.355. We're going to rotate it 14.25 degrees. We're going to place the X at 7.5 and the Y at 4.087. Then we can grab it all and then go down to the bottom and we're going to click on Weld. And then we have this piece here. Okay, so let's get our first piece of our uh, golf cart that we had. We're going to go ahead and place the X and Y at 1. And where I cut is just a little bit too high. So let's go to shapes and we're going to get a square. We're going to make it 0 
by 0 0.236. We're going to place the X at 2.671 and the Y at 2.975. And then what we can do is grab that square and the golf cart and then go down to the bottom to click on Weld. And then we have this piece here. Now for our seat, if we go to Shapes and we get an oval, and we make that oval 0 0.481 by 0 0.214, we rotate it 65.53 degrees, we can place the X on 1.91 and the Y at 1.833. And then we're going to go get another oval. We're going to make it 0 0.556 by 0 0.139. We're going to place the X at 2.019 and then the Y at 2.183. And then if we grab both of those ovals and then go down to the bottom and click on Weld, we have our little seat piece here. So now that we have our golf cart made, what we can do is resize it and make the rest of our little pieces. So this gray piece should be 3.457 by 2.289. The red piece should be 3.611 by 2.704. And our little seat is 0 0.664 by 0. 0.489. If you want to do the steering wheel for the other side, what I did is I just right click, duplicate it on this piece, and then I went to shapes and got a square. This piece right here doesn't have to be exact. All we're going to do is snip this piece off of our cart. So about right there and if it's longer or shorter that's okay because you're not going to see the bottom of it then we're going to go down to the bottom click on slice then on this piece we'll highlight it go to contour hide our other piece and keep our steering wheel then we need to right click duplicate and then flip flip horizontal so we have one for each side on the back and the same thing for our seat we duplicate it then we can grab the two seats duplicate and then go up to the top flip flip horizontal and then you can group them if you would like grab this and then right click duplicate and then you can group it and then go up to the top and hit flip, flip horizontal to shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make it 2 by 2.042. We're going to rotate it 180 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.5 and the Y at 1. Then we're going to go to shapes again. We're going to get another square. We're going to make it 0 0.5 by 0 0.709. We're going to rotate it 180 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 2.333. Then we can right click, duplicate. We're going to place the X at 3.5 and the Y at 2.333. Then we can grab it all and go down to the bottom and click on weld. Our peach part should be 3 by 2.042. Our X and our Y should be at 1. Then we can go to shapes. We can get a square. We can make it 1.625 by 1.056. We're going to place the X at 1.69 and the Y at 1.19. And we're going to grab it all and go down to the bottom and click on slice. And then we have this piece. Now our peach piece should still be, the X and Y should still be on 1. Now we're going to go to shapes, we're going to get a circle, we're going to make that circle 0 0.261 by 0 0.244, we're going to place the X at 1.524 and the Y at 1.066. Then we can duplicate it, 
we're going to place the x at 1.725 and the y at 1.07. Then we can duplicate it again. We're going to place the x at 1.944 and then the y at 1.07. Then we can highlight those three circles we just made. Then we can right click, duplicate. Then we can group them together. We're going to place the x at 2.163 and the y at 1.07. Then we can duplicate those again. And we're going to place the x at 2.794 and the y at 1.07. We can grab it all and go down to the bottom and click on weld. Then we can go to shapes. We can get a square. We can make that square 1.875 by 0.125. We're going to place the x at 1.011 and the y at 1. Then we're going to get a circle. We're going to make it 0.206 by 0.206. We're going to place the x at 1 and the y at 1.024. Then we're going to duplicate it again. We're going to place the x at 1.208 and the y at 1.024. Then duplicate it again. We're going to place the x at 1.417 and then the y at 1.024. Then we're going to grab those three we just made. Then once we grab them, we're going to right click duplicate. Then we're going to group them together. Then once we group them together, we're going to place the x at 1.639 and the y at 1.024. Then we're going to duplicate those three again. We're going to place the x at 2.264 and the y at 1.024. Then we're going to grab it all and go down to the bottom and click on weld. This piece should be 1.901 by 0.238. Our bigger piece here is going to be 3 by 2.042. We're going to make sure our X and our Y are on 1. Then we're going to go to Shapes. We're going to get a score line. We're going to make that score line 0.667. We're going to place the X at 1.503 and the Y at 2.336. Then we're going to duplicate it and we're going to place the X at 3.503 and the Y at 2.35. Then we can grab the score lines and then the window part and click attach. Then what we can do is group this together. Then we can right click, duplicate, and then we're going to flip, flip horizontal. Then we can go to shapes. We can get a square. We can make that square 1.847 by 0 0.625. And then we can right click, duplicate, so we have one for each of these. And if you would like to put one on the inside, just duplicate it again two more times. Then we can grab these together and then go ahead and move it aside. We're going to go to shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make it 2.986 by 0 0.722. We're going to place the X and the Y at 0. Then we're going to go to shapes. We're going to get a score line. We're going to make it 0 0.722. We're going to place the X at a half an inch and the Y at 0. Then we're going to duplicate it. That score line, we're going to place the X at 2.5 and the Y at 0. Then we're going to grab it all and go down to the bottom and click on attach. Then we're going to right click, duplicate one of these pieces. And this is the centerpiece if you would like to add that to your card. Go to shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make that square 8.475 by 0 0.25. We're going to place the X and the Y at 1. And we're going to go to shapes. We're going to get a score line. We're going to make that score line 0 0.25. 
we're going to place the X at 3 and the Y at 1. Then we're going to duplicate that score line. We're going to place the X at 5.05 .05 and then the Y at 1. Then we're going to duplicate it. We're going to place the X at 7.1 and the Y at 1. And then we're going to duplicate it one more time and we're going to place the X at 9.1 and the Y at 1. And then we're going to grab it all and go down to the bottom and click on attach. Now let's go to shapes and we're going to get a square. We're going to make that square 2.681 by a half an inch. We're going to place the X at 6.278 and the Y at 1. Then we're going to duplicate that square and we're going to make it 10.875 by 0 0.75. We're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 1.316. Then we're going to grab it all, go down to the bottom and click on Slice. And then we have this piece here. The X should be on 1 and the Y should be on 1.382. We're going to go to shapes, get a square. We're going to make it 0 0.324 by 0 0.324. We're going to rotate it 28.16 degrees. We're going to place the X at 6.064 and the Y at 1. Then we're going to duplicate that square. We're going to rotate it 28.16 degrees. We're going to place the X at 8.647 and the Y at 1.056. Then if we click on and highlight both of the squares and then go down to the bottom and click on weld and then we grab all three pieces and go down to the bottom and click on slice we have this piece right here our purple piece our X and our Y should be on um, one now we're going to go to shapes we're going to get a square we're going to make it two by 1.5 we're going to rotate it 180 degrees we're going to place the X at 2.375 and the Y at 1.306 then we're going to go to shapes and we're going to get a half circle we're going to make it 0 0.095 by 0 0.518 we're going to rotate it 110.01 then we're going to right click duplicate we're going to rotate it 66.8 degrees. We're going to place the X at 8.652 and the Y at 1. Then we can grab it all and then go down to the bottom and click on Weld. Then let's highlight this piece, go into Contour, and we're going to hide those two little triangles there. So we have one solid piece like so. Now let's go to Shapes. We're going to get a triangle. We're going to make it 2.572 by 1.264. We're going to rotate it in 180 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.083 and the Y at 2.306. Then we're going to grab them both and then go down to the bottom and click on Slice. Now with our purple piece here, we're going to make sure the X and the Y are at 1. We're going to go to Shapes. We're going to get a score line. We're going to make it 0 0.71. We're going to place the first one, the X at 1.375 and the Y at 1. Then we're going to duplicate it. We're going to adjust it to 1.297 in height. We're going to place the X at 3.375 and the Y at 1. Then we're going to duplicate it again. We're going to adjust it to 0 0.544. We're going to place the X at 6.625 and the Y at 1.195. We can duplicate it. Then we can place the X at 8.625 and then the Y at 1.195. Then we can grab it all and go down to the bottom and click on attach. Okay, now we're going to go to shapes. We're going to get a half circle. We're going to make it 0 0.778 by 1.575. We're going to rotate at 9.18. We're going to place the X at 5.586 and the Y at 2.024. Then we're going to duplicate it. And we're going to adjust it to 0 0.556 by 1.125. 
we're going to rotate it 9.18. We're going to place the X at 5.458 and the Y at 2.158. Then we're going to grab it all and go down to the bottom and click on Slice. The piece we're going to be using right here. We're going to take this little silver here. We're going to adjust it to 0 0.307 by 0 0.658 we're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 1 then we can right click duplicate it we're going to rotate it 308.2 we're going to place the X at 1.016 and the Y at 1.324 then we're going to go to shapes we're going to get an oval we're going to make it 0 0.773 by 0 0.456 we're going to rotate it 15.16 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.135 and the Y at 1.007. Then we're going to duplicate it. That oval again, we're going to duplicate it. We're going to place rotate it 358.06. We're going to place the X at 1.253 and the Y at 1.413. Then we're going to go to shapes and we're going to get a square. We're going to make it 0 0.755 by 0 0.063. We're going to rotate it to 2.9 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.742 and the Y at 1.104. Then we can right click duplicate that one. We're going to adjust it to 0 0.697 by 0 0.058. We're going to rotate it 355.11. We're going to place the X at 1.835 and the Y at 1.74. Then let's go back up to this moon shape piece. And we are going to um, duplicate it. We're going to rotate it 159.5 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.415. And then the Y at 1.376. Then we're going to go to Shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make it 0 0.072 by 7.248. We're going to rotate it 1.13 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.285 and the Y at 1.763. Then we can right click duplicate. We're going to adjust it to 0 0.063 by 7.318. We're going to rotate it 359.9 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.582 and the Y at 1.666. Then we're going to go to shapes and we are going to get a pennant and we are going to make it 0 0.392 by 0 0.653. We're going to rotate it 2.18 degrees. We're going to place the X at 2.263 and then the Y at 8.475. Then we can grab it all and then go down to the bottom and click on Weld. Then let's highlight it and then go to Contour. And we're going to hide all contours. And then we have our golf club here. <clears throat> now let's go to shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make it 2x2. Two two. We're going to rotate it 53.82 degrees. We're placing the X at 0 0.895 and the Y at 0 0.005. Then we're going to go to shapes and we're going to get another square. We're going to make it 0 0.736 by 3.417. We're going to place the X at 2.914 and the Y at 1.4. Zero, 03. Then we're going to grab them both and go down to the bottom and click on slice. Then we're going to highlight this piece, go to contour, and we're going to get rid of that little bitty triangle. Now we're going to take this piece we just made. We're going to rotate it 180 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.778 and the Y at 1. Then we can right click duplicate we're going to adjust it a little we're going to make it 0 0.778 by 3.157 we're going to rotate it back to zero we're going to place the x at one and the y at 1.583 then we're going to grab it all and go down to the bottom and click on weld 
and then we should have this piece here it is make sure our piece our x and our y is on one then we can go to shapes we can get a score line we can make the first score line 0 0.736 we can rotate it 90 degrees we're going to place the x at 1.778 and the y at 1.284 then we can duplicate it we're going to place the x at 1.778 and then the y at 1.562 then we can duplicate that line again and then we're going to go down to the bottom we're going to place the x at 1 and the y at 4.201 then duplicate it one more time and we're going to place the x at 1 and then the y at 4.479 then we can duplicate that score line we can adjust it to 2.546 rotate it back to 0 we're going to place the x at 1.778 and the y at 1.583 then we can go to shapes and we can get a square we can make that square 1.5 by 1.5 then we're going to go up to operation and change that score line I mean that square to a score line then we're going to place the X at 1 and then the Y at 2.125 then we're going to go to shapes we're going to get another score line we're going to adjust it to 2.088 we're going to rotate it 315.69 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.014 and the Y at 2.102. Then we can duplicate that score line. We can rotate it 45 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1 and then the Y at 2.167. Then we can grab it all and go down to the bottom and click on attach and move it aside now let's go to shapes we're going to get a square we're going to make it 5.25 by 1.326 we're going to place the x at 0 0.986 and the y at 0 0.986 then we're going to go to shapes and get a diamond we're going to make it 1.443 by 2.5 we're going to rotate it 58.22 degrees we're going to place the x at 4.34 and the y at 1.773 then we can grab them both and then go down to the bottom and click on slice this and we'll go to contour and we're going to get rid of this little triangle now we're going to make sure our X is on 1 and our Y is on 1.394 then we're going to go to shapes we're going to get a star we're going to make it 2 by 1.903 we're going to rotate it 106.88 degrees we're going to place the X at 5.747 and the Y at 1 I want you to grab them both and then go down to the bottom and click on slice and then we should have this piece here then we can place our X at 1.169 and our Y at 1 then we're going to go to shapes we're going to get a square we're going to make it 2.056 by 0.014 we're going to rotate it 63 degrees we're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 1.532 then we're going to grab them both go down to the bottom and click on slice then highlight this piece go to contour and we're going to get rid of that little triangle right there then we're going to make sure our X and our Y are at 1 we're going to go to shapes we're going to get a score line we're going to make it 4 inches long we're going to rotate it 90.07 degrees we're going to place the X at 1.034 and the Y at 1.817 then we're going to go to shapes we're going to get a triangle we're going to make it 1.694 by 0.815 then we're going to go up and change it to a score line we're going to rotate it 180 degrees we're going to place the X at 4.187 and the Y at 1 then we're going to grab it all and go down to the bottom and click on attach let's go to shapes we're going to get a square we're going to make that square 3 by 1.5 we're going to make sure our X and our Y are at 1 then we're going to go to shapes again we're going to get a score line 
we're going to make that score line one and a half inches. We're going to place the X at 2.5 and the Y at 1. Then we're going to grab them all and go down to the bottom and click on Attach. Now let's go to Shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make that square 3.25 by 1.75. Our X and our Y are at 1. Then we're going to go to Shapes. We're going to get a score line. We're going to make it 1.75. And we're going to place the first one at 1.5 and the Y at 1. Then we're going to duplicate it. We're going to place the X at 2 and the Y at 1. The next one, the X at 2.5, the Y at 1. The next one, the X at 3 and the Y at 1. Then we'll duplicate it. We'll place the X at 3.5 and, and the Y at 1. And the last one, we'll place the X at 4 and the Y at 1. Then we'll grab it all, go down to the bottom, click Attach. Now let's go to Shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to make it 2 by 1.75. We're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 1.444. Then we're going to go to Shapes again. We're going to get another square. We're going to make it 1.75 by 0 0.25. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to place the X at 3 and the Y at 1.444. Then let's go to Shapes and we're going to get a hexagon. We're going to make it 1 by 0 0.866. We're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 1. Then we can right click, duplicate. We're going to place the X at 1.996 and the Y at 1. Then we can duplicate it again. We're going to place the X at 1 and the Y at 2.75. Then duplicate it again. We're going to place the X at 1.996 and the Y at 2.75. Then let's go to Shapes. Let's get a square. We're going to make it 0 0.5 by 2.2. We're going to place the X at 1.252 and the Y at 3.5. Then we can duplicate that again. We're going to place the X at 2.252 and the Y at 3.5. Then let's grab it all and then go down to the bottom and click on Weld. And then we should have this piece here. Make sure our X and our Y are at 1 shapes. We're going to get a score line. We're going to make it 1.5. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.263 and the Y at 5.375. Then we can duplicate that line. We're going to put the X at 1.263 and then the Y at 3.636. Shapes, we're going to get a square. We're going to make that square 2 by 1.75. We're going to place the X at 1.004 and the Y at 1.444. Go up to operation and change that square to a score line. Then we're going to go to Shapes. We're going to get another score line. We're going to make it 1.75. We're going to place the X at 2.004 and then the Y at 1.444. Then we're going to grab it all and go down to the bottom and click on Attach. Adjust this piece here to 1.9 by 3.969. This piece, it should be 2.042 by 1.021. This piece we should be 1.031 by 2.546. This piece is going to stay the same. It should be 5.237 by 1.326. And then this piece is 2.745 by 1.478. And the squares on the inside, they are 0 0.297 by 1.3. 363 and you'll just duplicate it so you have six of them and then you can group them together. Now let's go to shapes. We're going to get a circle. We're going to make it 0 0.584 by 0 0.584. Then we're going to go to shapes and get another circle and we're going to make the smaller one 0 0.32 by 0 0.32. Then you can center it and you'll duplicate this three additional times and this is for your tires. As a circle we need to make it 1.819 by 1.819 and this will be for your golf ball.
and then our last piece is the strap you're just going to go to shapes you're going to get a square you're going to make it 0 0.153 by one and a half and then you're going to get another square you're going to make it 0 0.153 by 2 I have the X at 3.611 and then the Y at 15.333 then you're going to get a score line you're going to make the score line 0 0.153 you're going to rotate it 90 degrees you're going to place the X at 3.611 and then the Y at 15.583 then you'll duplicate that score line. You're going to place the X at 3.611 and the Y at 17.083. Then you'll grab it all and then go down to the bottom and click attach. And these are all the pieces that you will need to make the basic part of this card. Don't forget to go up and name and save your project. And we can go ahead and get our pieces cut out and then we can meet back at the craft table and I'll show you how we can put this together. I'll meet you there. Okay guys, so the first thing we can do is work our score line and put our pretty pieces on. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to have my card open like this this week. So once we have this on, what we can go ahead and do is work on our card. So for this long piece here, we can go ahead and work all the score lines. They're going to be mountain folds. And once we have them worked, this little narrow piece, that is the front of our card. So I'm going to go ahead and put my front piece on of my car. Then on this piece, we can go ahead and work it too. They are also going to all be mountain bolts. And then when we have this piece, we can go ahead and our little tab here at the end, we can go ahead and lay it down flat and put a little glue on it and then we'll fold this end to it, okay? Then we can just set that aside for now. So for this piece, we can go ahead and fold this tab forward, and then we're gonna fold this to it, and then glue it down. So we're just gonna put a little glue here. And then once you have it glued together, Go ahead and work it always, and that way we know our mechanism is going to work and lay nice and flat. So if we get our pieces for our car, this curve here, is going to line up with this curve and this is going to stick out just a little bit beyond our um, front of our golf cart. So once you line it up, that's about how much is sticking out past the front of the car. Okay. So what I like to do is put a little glue here and then add glue to it because you don't you can't put glue everywhere because some of this shows so I'm just going to put a little here and then work my way to the back end of my car and your tire on this end, it should go just above the score line. So that's another way you can know you're putting it on nice and neat. So I'm just gonna lift this up a little 
and add a little glue. So that's what it's looking like. And then we can just go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. So it's gonna go on this side. So now it should be looking like this right here. So we can take this piece that we've already put together and it is going to set right inside like so. And you're gonna kind of center it in the center of each of these inside pieces. A little glue down on this and then adhere it to the inside of our golf cart. So if you can see that I bumped it all the way up to this edge, but we have a little edge sticking out on this side and a little edge sticking out on this side. And that's so we can glue these pieces in there. So now we can go ahead and do the same thing to this one. And then once we have it on, we just wanna work it both ways to make sure it's sitting nicely, okay? Now these pieces, your pretty piece is gonna stick on this front like so. Shimmy it inside the golf cart and then we're gonna put a little glue on here and then adhere this to the front, okay? So it should sit in there very nicely. And then we line this top edge up. Then if we go ahead and fold this, you might have to tuck your flaps under so it's not obstructing anything. But if we fold it down like this, like a sandwich, and then we go in and see where our tabs are. So there's my tabs. This way we know it's gonna lay nicely how it's already lined up, okay? So all I'm gonna do is lift this up, put a little glue on my tab, and then smush my card back down on it. So if we lay it the other way, smush it down like a sandwich and then lift this up and we can see where our tab is at see it right there and put a little glue on it and then put our car cart back down on it and then again move your golf cart back and forth to make sure everything is folding nicely. And we're just going to do the same thing with our back tab. Now we have our golf cart finished. Only thing we have left to do is on the back here put our end piece. There we have it. Now let's set him aside and get this piece the piece that looks like that and then this piece now the square we just work the middle score line so let's fold that And then on this piece, we can work the bottom score line.
the two lines of the triangle and they will all be mountain bowls too. So this one is looking like so. Okay, and on this piece, we can fold it in half. Then work our diagonal score lines. And then we can fold this in. If we start pushing our thumbs in the center, it'll start creating this triangle. And we just want to push it in together. So you should have something that looks like this. Now, these pieces, let's just set aside. And I want to do this piece because we really need to have this piece um, dry and set for a little bit so it doesn't come apart so if you're gonna put golf clubs in it why don't we go ahead and I did them where you can put one on the front and the back in case you're not using something that has the back on it so I'm gonna go ahead and glue mine together real quick Okay, once we're done with that, this piece, we can work this middle score line. And then this side one, these are all gonna be mountain folds, so we can just go ahead and work them. Now that we have this worked, we can fold these piece down like so but we want to pop it back up so it's like this so we want it to look like this where we have this score line above this flap not like this so we want to push this up so it's looking the same like so and then what we're going to do is fold this flap up and it should hit just at or below our score line here okay so we can put a little glue on this tab and then fold this up so that's how it's looking after i glued it so you can see that little edge right there and you just want to make sure this is laying flat and nice and even both ways now let's just do the same thing to the other side. Okay, now that that is together, we can put our tabs, these tabs where we glued together, they wanna go at the bottom, okay? And then you can glue your golf clubs anywhere inside this square that you would like. That's how I did mine. Once you have it in, we can fold this tab in like so. And we're going to put a little glue on it and then fold this down. We can set this down and then we can work our score lines on this. And all of these folds are going to be mountain folds. Then once we have these score lines and folds work, this tab is going to go to our right side. We're going to skip this one and go to the second section. 
and we're going to make sure our tab is folded down like this and we're going to line it up right underneath the score line okay so i'm going to put a little glue here and then glue the second section to this like so So that score line is bumped up right up against it. Then we'll fold this over like so. And our, this is first tab, second, third section should be lined up directly on this tab. And we're going to do the same thing. Put a little glue on it and put it down. Then we can fold this down like that. Put a little glue and then we're going to glue it to this side of our flap. Now we're just gonna let this set and dry and go back to these pieces over here. So let's set this aside. Now, this is the front of my card. So I'm gonna open it up and I'm having my front piece on the left-hand side. Then we're gonna take this piece that we've already worked and we're going to Make sure the point of our triangle is in our score line, okay? That's important. So we want to get this piece as close as we can to this edge of our card. So my point is lined up on my score line. And if we fold this back, this is not going to work because it's sticking out of our card. So we need to move it in as far as we can without it being seen. So that's how far I've gotten it down. I'm good with that. So on this flap here, this one we're gonna lay it flat and we're just gonna put glue on it and then fold our card to it don't go past your score line here we fold this piece back and put glue or tape on it whichever you're using and then fold our card to it We have that voila and I just want you to notice how close that is to the edge without going over and we need it up there for everything to work together okay now that we have this done we can take this piece here that we've already worked and it opens like so, okay? And let's fold it back up like a triangle like this. And then we're just gonna snip the tip of the triangle off, like literally just a smidge. And then this, Score line we folded here, which is the second score line up, is going to sit like so, that tab, like this. 
we're going to glue it to this side and make sure when you putting it down see how it's not opening right because I have the wrong legs on the wrong side so this leg needs to go on this side and this leg needs to come to this side like so now it's opening right so I'm gonna get a little glue put it on here and adhere it to that the side furthest away from me and it should line up nicely with our edge over here so it's flush and then the score line should be flush at the top too So that's how it's looking. Now we can do the same thing to this side. Once we have everything glued together, we are going to put this, we can, to this end down here. We are going to have a little bit of this triangle sticking out past this. And if it's not exact, it's still it's still going to work, guys. And if you're unsure, use something that's not going to be permanent to test it out. I just want to show how much should be sticking out on this side of your triangle when you glue it down. So just a little, just this little smidge. When you glue the back of this on should be past the line here so we're just going to put glue on the triangle and then we're going to fold our card shut and then we can open it up that's how it's looking when we open it. We're going to put glue on this triangle and then fold our card back down again. And there we have it. That's how it will open and shut. Okay, so for our golf cart, You'll fold it flat like a sandwich. And we are going to place this <laughs> as close to this edge without going over. And it doesn't matter which side. If you want to work on this side, that's fine. If you want to work on this side, it, it doesn't matter which one you do. So this bumps up into our score line like so. And then we'll fold our um, card down into it once we get it situated. Remember, you can use something that's not permanent if you're worried about where your placement is. So, that is where... I'm laying mine and my tire is not going over the edge and we can shut it to make sure still not going it's not coming outside which is good so you're just gonna put glue on just our tab and then fold your card to it and then we can open it up and do the same thing to this side. So there is our golf cart. Looking good, guys. And yes, your car is going to be going off of your card when you open it, and that is okay. That's how we want it. Now it's time for our 
golf bag. If you haven't already, you can push your mechanism through. And I suggest you open and close it several times to make sure it's working nicely so it's easier for your card when you go to put it in your card. And this is kind of like the Coke one we did, but not so many layers. And the score line, when you open it, it pushes it up in here, like so, this one. It should hit your car edge here and hit this here and they'll just move nicely in. Can you see that? So if you notice this piece here is going to hit right so it slides on the side of it and then this car part hits the back and it comes in between it like a sandwich. So placement for this piece is important. Where we need to place it, I measure. Okay, so it should be about a half an inch from this point to our golf bag. Measure from this first layer, our center layer that we glued to this edge here, it's one and a half inches. We'll just put glue on each side and place it down. And I find it easier if I do it like this because nothing gets caught up on it and it give it a second to dry. You just want to make sure these points are on your score line. This point here and this point here. And I forgot to put my little tabs on it. Darn it. So now for our straps, I used two vinyl pieces and one I did short so we can line it up in the middle on the back of it and it'll stick to each other so that way the inside won't be sticky. And then I can fold these forward to make it sticky to the golf bag. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place it on this transfer paper. So now right here and here I have sticky that I can fold under like so and stick to our golf bag. And you can put the strap wherever you would like. seemed to work for me was putting it not this one front but this piece here and it didn't seem to get smushed or anything and there we have it our little handle you see that And everything is lining up just 
So, isn't that neat, guys? Okay, so for our last piece, if you're using the round, Off piece. I did some debossing on this. It looks like this. You can place it anywhere on your item you want to. Just remember this, however you place it when you have it open like this is how it's going to look. So this is how it's going to open and I think I'm going to put mine on just like so. So you put a little glue on your green piece and then just stick this to it. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do after I do this is go finish the rest of my card and I'll be back to show you what I came up with. I'll see you in just a sec. Okay guys, so here is my finished card. I did the same as the other one on the front. Dad, you're always above par. And then we open it up and we have the golf bag and the car and I just did some green down here and then of course on the back we have a place where we can write a message so one thing I did want to say is there is a piece that's in the file if you would like to use it and it goes inside um, if you want to put like a seat and somebody inside the golf cart, it's not necessary to do. I didn't do it, but I just wanted to let you know that it is available in the file if you want to use it. Do you know why the golfer wears two pairs of pants? In case he gets a hole in one. Guys, I want to say thank you so much for stopping by and crafting with me. Don't forget to stop by next week to see what's popping and dropping. Bye!